Dear students, now I'm going to talk about the various structural artifacts and organizations that exist within the proteins. There are many types of protein structures that are classified into primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structures. In fact, all of these classifications, they correspond to various complexity levels within the protein. So let's take a look at each of these types of structures in detail. You know that the proteins, they form complex 3D structures spontaneously. Now, each of these spontaneously formed structures is capable of undertaking a specific function within the larger biological landscape. We also know that each of these functions are representative of each structure. So each structure can only perform a specific function and each function can only be performed by a specific structure. So this is a very important point to note and moreover because the functions are in a very large variety therefore the structures that are going to perform those functions also exist in a vast variety. So in effect each protein has a unique structure. An interesting observation is that although the proteins have very complex structures and that these structures they perform very specific functions, if you look closely at each structure, it is comprising of substructures which are very few in number. So essentially, these small substructures or subunits within the bigger 3D structure are repeated in combinations in order to create complex, bigger 3D structures. You know that these substructures are formed from amino acids. Amino acids, there are 20 different amino acids and each amino acid can polymerize with another amino acid and so on and so forth to make a protein sequence. So the protein sequence here is primarily the one prime structure or the primary structure. So this is the first structure that we are going to learn about, the primary structure of a protein or in other words, simply the protein amino acid sequence. So once the amino acids polymerize together, they create these substructures. The substructures arise out of the amino acid sequence and are called two prime structures or the secondary structures. Please note that these are the substructures. So we have moved from the amino acid sequence to substructures. And now we are going to move from the substructures to the suprastructures or the three prime structures. The three prime structures or the tertiary structures are essentially formed out of combining the substructures in different combinations. So when the substructures they come together in different uh, schemes, then a protein tertiary structure is formed. Next, these three prime structures are essentially the entire protein structure for the monomeric proteins. So if you want to look at a protein's complete structure, then it is the three prime structure or the tertiary structure for the monomers. Also, uh, these three prime structures can evolve to a higher level of tertiary from the tertiary to the quaternary structures. The quaternary structures are essentially structures form, formed out of three prime structures which come together to, uh, in the case of multimeric proteins and give rise to protein complexes. So, formally, they are also called the four prime structures. So now we know the four different types of structures. The one prime structure, that is the protein's amino acid sequence, the two prime structure or the secondary structure which is the 
substructures that are formed out of the amino acids the tertiary structure or the three prime structure which is essentially formed when you combine these sub uh, substructures the two prime structures in various combinations the quaternary structure can come about once the various three prime structures come together for instance the protein complexes in order to understand how these structures can be built out of a simple amino acid chain is the purpose of the later module so we're going to investigate how to predict the structure by just looking at the one prime structure as well as the two prime structure